Today's book, this week's book, is wonderful. It's called The In-Between. It is beautiful. I was trying to tell my friend, my friend, um, I went for a beer with him the other day, and I was, I don't think he knows how spiritual I am and how much I think about the afterlife and what happens next. And I just ponder it all the time. And I love to listen to near death experience podcasts and stuff. And it just, it fills me with confidence knowing in my mind, and I respect everyone else's beliefs and stuff, of course, but in my mind, I'm a hundred percent certain this is just a moment in time and we're experiencing it. And there's something else afterwards. And I heard about this podcaster who works in hospice, you know, where you go when you're about to die and she, she's only young, but she was doing podca- uh, podcast. She was doing TikToks about her time in hospice. I was like, Oh my God, this is really incredible. Like, Cause I like listening. I like learning. I like educating myself. And so I was like, Oh, this is, this is really good. And then she brought out a book called the in between. I just said what it is. What it is. The in between. She brought out a book and she talks about her experiences. She talks about different people. And when she first started working in hospice, she didn't believe that, um, that, crazy things happen about when you're about to die. She didn't believe in the afterlife, et cetera. And one of the first times she she was witnessing someone dying was when this person was talking to their dead sister, dead, some dead relative. And and so she went to her manager and said, something's going on. You know, this is happening. She's talking to somebody who's dead, who's not here. She's she's talking to him like like literally like it's me. And she can see him. And she, she, she said that that person's next to me. And I said, there's nobody next to me because uh, that person's dead. And, you know, and her manager simply said, she's passing. She's passing. I'm getting, I'm getting goose pimples even thinking about it now. And she says, she's passing. It means that that person is literally about to pass to the other side because when they, when they're about to pass, the a veil is seen. I'm getting goose pimples. A veil is lifted and it allows people to see what they couldn't see before. Other dimensions, other people, other beings, other spirits. And she was like, what a lot of rubbish. That would be silly. And, uh, and then over years and years and years, she's seen it time after time after time after time again. And she did people having real life conversations, real life experiences. They've even told her saying, I think her name's Hadley or something. Uh, the person, the, the person who wrote the book, she's. They've even said, um, "My my son is here," or some. What well, I can't remember. My son is here, and we're gonna a dead son. Um, and he's taking me today. He's taking me tonight. We're gonna go tonight. And I was like, "Oh, I'm getting fucking goose pimples again." Um, and and she was like, "Oh my god, it's and the clarity, the clearness, the the pain goes, the suffering goes, and it's just a wonderful feeling." to pass across apparently and uh, sure enough that person did pass so yeah it's a it's a, it's a wonderful book and for me uh, i i know when i was talking to my friend about it, he's like what you believe in all that i was like fuck yeah yeah i do yeah i do 100 percent. and uh yeah th- this book is wonderful so if anybody out there is interested even slightly in this then uh then yeah i recommend you read it all right my friends i love you i appreciate you and i'll see you tomorrow